Hi there. This is video 812. We are still looking at scale factors of 3D objects. And sorry, I messed up my counting here. Get things fixed up for you. All right, so we've got a couple of big uh, oil tanks. And it says the smaller tank in the photograph has a capacity of 14,000 meters cubed. And the larger one is 4725 meters cubed. During the refining process, both tanks are filled with oil from a pumping station at the same rate. How many times longer will it take to fill the larger tank than it will take to fill the smaller tank? Well, that seems pretty simple. All I need to do, so for A, is go 47, 25, divided by 1400. Essentially, how many times does 1400 go into the big one? So let's do that. 47, 25. Divided by 1,500. All right, so 3.375. So the little one will fill over three times before the big one is filled. All right, how many times greater is the radius of the larger tank than the smaller one? You're thinking, where in the world did that come from? Well, you're going to do it two ways. One using this, and one using just some cool geometry. We'll see how it goes. Well, this volume, you remember back, volume, the scale factor is cubed. So we know that so this to be scale factor cubed, so the scale factor for a linear measurement is cubed. When we do volumes, 3.375. So then we need to take cube root and cube root it up. Right, that's how you do cube roots with the little three there. So hopefully, hmm, all right. On your calculator, oh, mine's got an X cubed here. And this hmm, one was designed. There it is. All right. You need a little cube root. Okay. If you don't need um, a cube, you need like a fourth root or something to use that one. But I got a cube root on this. So I'm going to go cube root 2.375. And the cube root of that. So k is equal to 1.5. So on a linear measurement, it's 1.5 times as long. So that's the difference in the radius. And now we're going to do one of the Joanne's really cool checks. Not required, but. There we go. That there's often more than one way to do a question in math. So without knowing anything about scale factors, we can figure this out. So it's small tank. Oh, the one thing you do need to know is the volume of a sphere is equal to four thirds pi r cubed. Okay, and we're actually going to use the four thirds as a fraction because I want my answers to come out nice and exact. So we're not going to um, change it to 1.3 or something like that. So the small tank has a volume of 1400 is equal to four thirds pi r cubed. We're going to figure out what r is on the small tank, and then we're going to figure out what r is on the big tank, and we're going to compare them. And I'm really hoping the big one's about 1.5 times bigger than the small one. All right, so we're trying to get the R by itself. So let's start, but we'll do this in two steps. Let's get rid of this. So if we take this side and we multiply, oops, not keep it. Multiply through by three, then this three and that three are going to cancel off. But then 
we all know we need to do that. Okay, so 3 times 1400 is 4200. is equal to 4 pi r cubed. All right, so getting rid of that. Now what do we need to get rid of? What's next? Let's get rid of that 4, that's easy. So 4200 divided by 4, 1, 0, 5, 0, is equal to pi r cubed. And now we're going to divide by pi. And I'm hoping my calculator has a pi button. It does. So on my second oops, 150 pi pi second three three four point two three three. And then we're going to cube root. We're going to cube root. And I'm getting that R is 6.94. And that would be meters. Okay. Now, if you're feeling brave, and even if you're not, how about you do the exact same calculation for me, but on the big tank? I'm going to trust that you did. You paused the video in the whole nine yards. You got this by now. Big tank. And that was 47.25. It's equal to 4 thirds pi per cubed. Um, I guess I should say if you wanted, if you were going to follow order of operations exactly, you could actually multiply this stuff together first. But I'm going to do it like I did over there. It's pretty easy. So we're going to multiply through by 3 to get rid of that. So 3 times 4 to 7, 25. So 14, oops, multiply this by 3. 14, 175 is 4 pi r cubed divided by 4. is pi r cubed divided by pi. One thousand one hundred twenty eight point zero one are cubed cube root after all that work it's ten point four one meters is equal to R. Now the big money, 10.41 divided by 6.94. Oh. So 10.41, oh, dang it, I'm sorry. 10.41 divided by 6.94 um, times we do that. 10.41 divided by 6.9 is exactly 1.5. So, why do we care about scale factors? Well, if you know about scale factors and how they work with 3D objects, you can do, let's see, that would be um, one step, and you figured out it's 1.5 times small. If you don't know about scale factors and how they work with radiuses. Well, let's just say it's we zoom out. It's a whole lot more work. So scale factors are 
pretty darn cool. Oh, and have a great day.